us to today to start the lesson is when we identified too much, when the encounters uh, and the environment is stronger than our willpower, we become very restless. Like I could see even that I came with the great intention to do this class and I identified with the self of the computer and, and, and the work that the computer is working through. We just become restless. And we have to observe that because at the moment, the environments are very much stronger. The social media platforms are stronger. And the collective consciousness of the human is um, not so much elevated. They are also in, in, in the space of identifying and there is the opposition. So in these time, in these contrast of the mind, if we cannot take the, the, the lessons of these confusions, and elevate ourselves, we will be repeating the same patterns again. Now, if I go through a spiritual journey of the Buddhism, it says you come to life again and again and again and again and again until you realize it. Not that the karma is against you, but your, your consciousness, your awareness want to elevate. It doesn't want you to be in the same place because that's not what you have come into this space who realize things, not just um, restlessness can create you over buying things. So you buy a car, you go to the next relationship, you get the body done. But there is a part of this awareness still struggle in those. And you, you always find, I'm not really, really happy still. And that is the same thing if you get, get Christianity, when the Jediahs sold Christ for money, um, Yes, it, it, it was the Christ, but the Christ was the consciousness, but he took the money. But did the money satisfy him? Did the money help him? So th this is a, a, a gentle example that I can give. So wherever you are in life, try to understand whether it's in the health part, it's in the wealth part, whether it's in the relationship part. Today, I want you to very gently emphasize on this part and becoming aware where the environment is so stronger and you're losing your willpower. And I'm, I'm not saying doing, but become aware of that part. It happened to me with the computer. It happened to us. So saying that, take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back, opening up the chest, arms raise onto the crown. I'll move the camera very gently without freezing the computer again. Interlacing the fingers, palms facing up the chest or stretch. And very gently allow that breath to open up very gently the rib cage, back of the neck. Now breath out to in the spine to the right side. Very gently, stomach pulled in, shoulders relaxed, chest open, pull the belly in and open the just a little bit more, a couple of more breaths while you're on the right side and bringing into that awareness very gently. Now breath in back into the center, change the leg formation, soften the knees, soften the hips and observe that restlessness and try not to identify it with it, whatever it's for you at this very moment. Arms raise onto the crown, interlace in the fingers. I'll tap the tailbone slightly and keep that spine a little bit uh, straight. And on the out breath, twisting the spine to the left side. Just take care of your inner space. If you are people who are not in the space of the inner space, they will create more of outer space, buying things. Not that it's bad. Or, or wanted to have that next thing, the next thing, and the next thing. So just be care. Do that from the inner space. Breathing in back into the center. Now very gently shrug the shoulders up, peel the head back, and give a good massage onto the back of the skull, releasing the tension. It might be the pillow that you slept last night. It might be the bed, it might be a wrong turn with body being tired. 
Now open and close the mouth widely while you're shrugging the shoulders, releasing the tension of that jaw. And now, chin to the chest, breathe out very gently, uh, stretch the belly and very gently come into a place of a cat, a seated cat. Now breathing in tongue, roll up onto the upper palate energy, gaze onto the third eye, hold the breath there, hold the breath right up onto the crown. And this contrast will help you to accept the confusion of the lesson, whatever it is. Try to see it without a body. Try to see it without a duality. Breath out very gently. Collapse the spine. Learn from what you have been taught now, the lessons. Otherwise, it will keep repeating, keep repeating. Now breathing in, now anus lock, navel lock, throat lock, tuck in, bring the energy through the chakras up to the crown, just for this very moment. Breathe out, release the tension. Release that sickness, release that discontent that you're holding or something need to be fixed. Now breathing in, elongate the spine, stretch the neck to the right side. Very gently allow the weight of that right palm. Very gently drop that left shoulder, space that left shoulder away, away and release the tension. Now breath in back into the center. Very gently onto the left side. Stretch the right. Allow that space that you're discovering the pain or the ache. Just observe. Now very gently take a deep breath back into the center. Now very gently shoulders roll back, opening up the chest and very gently stretch the left leg into the back. Now, very gently breathing in, you're being true to yourself. The relationship within this space, beyond a body and a mind. Now, very gently take a deep breath in, breathe out, drop the elbows, walk. Now to elevate ourselves, it is very important that we are not clinging to something that is old. Today's lesson is your summon that the courage to confront and transform, transform from the old, the distant taint, the sickness. Very gently release the tension of the palms. Let go those neural paths to open. Releasing the tension that holding our digestion, the distress. And take that breath back into the body to rebalance the space of understanding. Every thought can make you a prisoner. Every thought also can make you liberated. Now breathing in very gently, coming back stronger into the pelvic floor, moving into a plank. Strong on the pelvic floor. Now very gently left knee drop. Right arm reaching into the front. Up to the ceiling. Now release the tension. The wrist open up. Give a good rotation. That you are no longer clinging into a thought. Into a relationship. Into a job. Into a space of a body. 
into holding onto a pain, into a space that anger can hold on these energies, frustrations, pleasing others, pleasing yourself, or releasing and letting go of this energy as a part of forgiveness and switch your right arm into the back and touch the floor. Left arm taking a deep breath in, into the front, clench and unclench. Continue to inquire these things, the destructive patterns, the habits that hijack that space of the inner and move you into the surface. Left arm reaching into the back and touch the floor. Now take a deep breath in and drop the knees. Give a good rotation to the hips, quite a rotation. While doing this onto both sides, you're releasing the clenching parts of your body, whether it's clenching the teeth, whether it's clenching while you're sleeping in the night, your arms don't rest, your fingers don't rest. Ask yourself, and stretch the spine into the back, releasing the tension. Drop that back up onto the heels. Open up the sole of the feet. And by holding resistance and negativity and fear, acknowledge how deeply this impact as a body, as a mind, it's very toxic. Now open your fist and allow your hands to relax, feeling the lingering tension in your palm, lingering thought in your palm. Now take a deep breath in and come into this realization and very gently breathe out, exhale and blow that density of the tensions out wherever that is in the body. Some of you, it might be a particular area of the digestion, particular area of the knees particular area of the feet. Couple of breaths out to release the stagnation. So you could see there's a transformation happening to the body. Yes, transitioning is happening to your awareness. Now palms facing down rolling and bringing the chest into the front, breathing in into up face. I want that up face to be a great opportunity that right now let the possibility fill you with this space. Let the creation begins, let the actions begins. Embrace and nourish yourself. Breathe out towards the down face. Now very gently bringing the right foot into, uh, no, left foot into the front onto the pigeon pose. Shoulders roll back, open your expansive level of consciousness. Uh, in that consciousness, everything is a possibility. Even reversing your health into a certain place, the wealth into a certain place. I'm not against the outer space. I just ask you to manage from the inner space. Discover the new way of understanding the contrast. Shoulders roll back, drop the elbows, breathe out. And now you're consciously in that space. The distractions and the sensory overload is now a gentle restlessness when you're only identified with all that information. So now the environment is not stronger than the willpower. Now you have come away from the idle, the recycling, the old thing, the fear, the thought, the confusion. The 
Take a deep breath in and gently coming back stronger. Learn from what you are being taught. Don't take it against. This is happening against you. Very gently right knee onto the floor. Left arm reaching up to the ceiling, clench and unclench. Remember what we did with that, releasing the tension. And very gently allowing that inspiration to come, not to the old space, not to the distraction. Stimulate and refine, uplifting this energy. Clench and unclench, left arm reaching into the back, touch the floor. Right arm reaching up into the front, up to the ceiling, clench and unclench. Right reaching into the back, to the floor. Now drop the knees, give a good rotation to the hips, release that. Uh, the anxious, that rethinking, the past that creates the tension. Wider rotation to the other side. This is very much important to get the unease of the mind and the nervous system. Wider rotation to the other side. Now put the hips into the front, into the back and stretch the spine. Now, this is a good time, palms facing up. What are the shadow parts, unrefined aspects of yourself that maybe you need to confront it? Maybe you need to face them. Maybe you cannot bypass them, but maybe you have to work on them. So break it down. Don't think that I need to really bring my health into this, bring my relationship into this. If you break down into small parts, what in this moment, what in this day, what in this week that you can accomplish to uplift even the way you think? I'm not a fan of thought, but just... Of course, you have dedicated your time to understand who am as a body, who am as a uh, mind, a soul, spiritual being. So this moment is very important. It's not the know, it's not knowing, it's not know. But what am I? Do I know myself? I'm facing down, crawling and bringing the chest into the front, breathing in, into up face. Breathe out into a down face. Now bend knees very gently to release the tension, release the understanding because every time the realization comes, the body releases something. Uh, you're not going to incarnate into your thoughts again and again and again and again. How can you elevate so that you don't incarnate? Incarnation as a body, incarnation as a mind, incarnation as a life coming into the same misery until you understand. Left leg up into the back, release the tension. Left knee onto the chest, completely breathe out, stretch back, breathing in, up, up. Left knee onto the left elbow, breathing in, stretch back, left knee onto the right elbow, breathing in, stretch back, left foot into the front. Arm switch into the back. Arms raise onto the crown, six deep cycles of breath. Uh -huh. 
Now, this is the time that you have to really release the tension of the temporary aspect of your life. You can evolve into the eternal you. Allow yourself and time to explore the space. Arms raised onto the crown. Little badras and opening up onto the right. Make a mudra to remind yourself. Focus on your brain and consciously relax your head. While you're holding the Vira Badrasana, consciously relax your neck. While you're holding the Vira Badrasana, consciously relax your shoulder. Take a deep breath in and chant just the vibration of E on the out breath. E Allow the brain to relax, become clear. One more time. I take a deep breath in, gentle arch. You might feel lightheaded. Breathing in, elbow onto the knee. Right arm reaching up. Clench and unclench, release the tension, release the fog. Right, reaching into the back, touch the floor. But I'm reaching up to the ceiling. Clean to the back. Touch the floor. Breathing in into a plank. Strong around the pelvic floor. Lower plank. Otherwise, drop the knees, come into a cobra. Breathing in up face. Breathe out towards the down face. If you need to take a break here and if you feel that you have stimulate, it's okay. It's like my computer running with multiple programs in the morning simultaneously. Find your focus on really that no longer serve you. Right leg up into the mat. Rotation to the right foot. Right knee to the right chest. Breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Right knee to the right elbow. Breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Right knee to the left elbow. Breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Right foot into the front. Arm stretch into the back. Arms raise onto the ground. Six deep cycles of breath. Deep breathing. Breathing out longer. Because if you really see, these are all energetic wiring. Arms raised onto the crown, opening up onto the Virabhadrasana. Take a deep breath in, consciously relax your head, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Focus on the br brain, programming of your negative parts of the brain even. Now, mm, take a deep breath in a few times. Breath out. Breathing in. Large. 
Imagine the computer screen in your space of the brain, what you call. A picture of delete key. But allow yourself to erase those negative programming that you're conscious about from that screen that yourself completely. When you wake up in the morning, what you constantly talking about back into the center. I'll go on to the left arm reaching up. Into the back, touch the floor. Right arm reaching up to the ceiling, clench and unclench. Into the back, touch the floor. Into a plank, drop the knees, give a good rotation to the hips on both sides. Wider rotation to the other side, wider, wider, wider. Now stretch the spine. Now just, just observe the brain, which has all this network, energetic wires, like boards of wires, some of which are frayed, some of which are loose, some of which are disconnected. And as you connect on wires with another, create a harmonious loop. It eliminates with the colors of the colors of the rainbow because it's all energy and allow this new and inspiring thoughts realization to flow through your mind and increase furthermore the capacity to connect that part of your body the soul the spirit so the whole being itself that have been cut off or low in energy, sit with this feeling and start the completeness. Connect the parts that for some reason has not been connected. It's not finding the excuses why it is not connected, why it is not connected, or the surface of he did it, she did this. You're responsible for your vehicle. You're responsible for your dashboard. You're responsible for maintaining it, moving it, navigating into the space that you need to navigate, not just the right and the wrong. Got it? So that is the space that the contrast will help you to accept the confusion of the lesson. Learn from what you are being taught or keep repeating into the same circuit again and again and again. Arms facing down, crawling and bringing the chest very gently into the floor, elbows onto the floor. This time you're coming into a gentle cobra. You're going to hold for a couple of minutes. Overlooking onto the right side. Hips are grounded, spine is lengthened, the circuits are working back into the center, onto the other side. Back to the center. Keep the heart on the space of the openness, the space of vulnerability. Breath out, completely land onto your third eye. Let it melt away into that space of understanding. Space of joy, space of love. That the inadequacy is melting away. The fear is melting away. This is the only way you can look at the relationship of your health, the wealth, 
the relationship with others. This is the part that you really consciously can understand. Whether you're fulfilling or whether you are empty on these spaces. Are you a person who, out of fear, stick into what you know? Or is this practice is allowing you to striking out to discover the new neural paths, the new tracks? Or created the energy of these neural paths that gives the energy and allow you to grow into the space of the intuitive flow, into the space of heedful movement, the expression of the truth. Now, very gently coming back, the arm stretch onto the shoulder heights. So take a good time and open up. Now very gently left leg up, higher. Now very gently bring that left knee onto the left chest or onto the side of the left chest. Now very gently stretch the leg totally onto the left side. Opening up, opening up, releasing any tension. Now you can come into a gentle cobra or elbows onto the floor and opening up the chest while your legs are stretch onto a 90 degree, allowing that space to awakening. Couple of more breaths. The brighter you breathe and brighter until you encompass your body. until you encompasses the mind. Feel the same energy is echoing back. What that you're giving is echoing back in thousands and millions of multiple. Continue as long as you feel, even for your health, even to that area. Now relax onto the floor. Now you can release the tension of that left leg. Now we are going to do it to the other side. Take a deep breath in and allow your right leg lift up. Remember the practice is psychosomatic. Up, 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 up. Onto the right side, comfortably. Focus on the space. Focus on the breast and the pectoral, and then breathing in and lift up that chest from the flow. Releasing the tension that you're holding as disappointment, hurt, or shame. Observing. The dislike, the sadness, embarrassment. Any of those old circuits still have the residue into negative feelings. Gently override them or disrupt them with that your consciousness of the love. Let the energy of the organs to swell with that energy. Focus on letting go of all criticism and yourself refreshing a fresh appreciation, acceptance. Take a deep breath in, relax onto the floor, stretch the legs on, and very gently, without a break, if you can hold on to the ankles, 
coming in and emerge gently onto that space of Dhanurasana, the bow pose. If the bow pose is harder, just bend your knees and release and rejoin it. Rejoin. Once you feel there is a light and a free of energetic blocks and tangles, gently breath as a hug for yourself, directing that love into the area and nurture through the body, if it is in the body. If it is in the mind, through the mind. If it is in the understanding, bring that space into that. And let go. Arms onto the chest level, breathing in into a gentle cobra again. Breathe out towards the down face. Breathing in, lifting up onto the toes. Breathe out, drop the heels. Even bending your knees a little bit to drop that heels. Breathing in, lifting up onto the toes. Breath out to the heels. Breathing in, lifting up onto the toes. Breath out to the heels. Now breathing in, lifting up onto the toes from the toe, left leg up. So the right leg is still on the toe. Now take a deep breath in, breathing in, bringing that left toe into the front, onto the floor. So now back foot can be in angle, but the front foot is on the toe. Now, if it is not the best balance for you, don't do it. Otherwise, from the toe, arms stretch into the back, arms raise onto the crown, that out, spread the wings wide and touch the floor. So the front foot is on the toe, onto the down face. Right leg up. Left foot on the toe. Now right toe into the front. Left foot in an angle. So still one foot is on the toe. Arms stretch into the back. Arms raise onto the crown. Breath out, spread the wings and touch the floor. Into a plank. Drop the knee, stretch the spine. Breath out. Crawling and bringing the chest into the front, breathing in into a gentle cobra. Now, this is a part that you're releasing the old skin of the victimhood. That disempowers you. Talking about repetitively about the old self. Now, this is a time that you can move from the fear, the tension, the resistance. You can either come into the space of the contentment or you can come into the space of the liberation or you can take this body and the mind and the spirit into the space of the growth. It's up to you to do whatever you need to do. If you just accept, it is contentment. If you want to work with it, it's liberating you. If you want to grow with you, then the whole universe is yours to conquer, but within your inner self. Relax the third eye onto the floor. Now, in this moment, the Chiddakasha, the third, deepest hidden feelings, Now, very gently, you can bring the energy off, sending a signal so the people that can help you to grow, help you to move forward, help you to grow with. And the circumstances will come in that space. 
Now, this is a great space, asks your inquiry. Where yourself of your life that you yearn to be shared, grow in the most safe and healthiest way. Whether it's whether it's you're becoming more present to your children, present to your work, present to your health, present to your wealth. Present to motivate, present to help others. Now you have become an individual who is open to discover not only you, but know your own and to be brave. Now take a deep breath in. Bring the palms where the elbows are, or maybe tucked in a little bit next to the rib cage. Breathing in into a gentle cobra. Breathe out towards the down face. Now very gently, very gently, Bend the knees, drop the bum, very gently walk the palms towards the feet. Very gently, very gently, very gently drop the heels. Sit comfortably. Breathe slowly and deeply. Now bring the bum down and sit deeply. Open up. Very gently, keep yourself in the same place of that warmth. Allow your body to soften. Allow your digestion to soften. Allow things to move. Very gently releasing the tension of any burdens, any heaviness, anything old. Perspectives that are clogging your Digestion, clogging your heart. Allow your body flowing out everything on the outbreak. But gently give a massage to the point between your ring finger and the middle finger. On your right hand with your thumb. Massage gently in slow circular motion for a minute or two. While you're massaging, make sure that you take a deep breath. Slow breath. Allow your chest to fill with the space of the healing oxygen. Exhale to expel all those impurities from your chest, from your lungs, from your digestion. Now very gently repeat with your left hand. Now very gently relax. Bring the bum onto the floor, feet stretch into the front. Release the static of the legs, bend the body. Releasing any further tension of the restlessness that before the class that you were identified with the world. Release the tension of the environment and take control of your inner space. Now, very gently take a deep breath, knees to the chest, breathe out. Breathing in, arms raise onto the crown. Stretch up, stretch up, open up the armpits, open up the fingers. Breathe out, release to the chest. Breathing in, stretch, 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 open the fingers. Space between the fingers. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. 
Breathing in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. Now feet wide apart. Keep your knees bent. Feet wide apart. Slightly bent. Slightly bent. Now reaching onto the toes. Now get the feet a little bit more apart with the part. Rolling and roll the hips. Just lift up. Don't bend your head down too much. Keep your chest open. Rolling from the hip. Reaching onto the toes. Now when you're ready, very gently, feet together, under the ankles, locking onto the toes, dropping into the Kumarasana. A pose of a tortoise. A pose that allows you to listen to the inner guidance. All the world is in that space of the restlessness. And this is the time that you are no longer losing yourself. This is your, I just we find a moment for yourself. This is the time to let go of if you're overly fixated on external circumstances and at the expense of the eternal balance. This is a time of good reminder. Give yourself time and space necessary to listen. Not just the junk. Not just the noise. Open your heart. And listen to the space of your inner voice. Not necessarily come as words, but by understanding. Breathing in very gently, coming back. Shoulders relax. Stretch the legs into the front. Arms raise onto the crown. Shoulders roll back. Arms onto the floor. Feet drawing onto the mat. Lifting up the hips. Open up. Breathe out. Relax. Coming into the space of a seating posture. Shoulders relax, twist in the spine to the right side on the out breath. Back to the center. Changing the leg formation, twisting the spine to the other side. Back to the center. Gently allow your body to feel that space of the understanding, a gentle smile into the space of the spiritual nature. Now very gently, take a deep breath and come into that knowing the change has become some discomfort to the knowing. No. No. But allow this moment the guidance, the bread. It's all, the result is all worth it. You may feel so comfortable and attached to what you have and know that you are resistant to change. Even if what you have and know are causing you to stagnate, causing you a gentle death, causing you a blockage, you may be scared to discover something new. 
in you something different to challenge the comfort rut of your life. This is the time that every difficulty has given you courage to listen. Regardless of the fear, regardless of the profit, regardless of the grief, take a leap of faith and direct you down to the right path. A prosperous moment has given birth to the future wakes. You need only to listen. I take a deep breath in, arms raise onto the crown. Place the space. Allow the whole cells of this body to absorb this understanding. Coming on to the third eye. Coming into the space that you were before unaware of because you can only focus on small amounts of information. Much of you here can be negative. Bring that energy around to the throat. But once it was negative, but now it offers you a positivity, the emotional well-being. Heart. Releasing that what is affecting you in the space of the heart. Sit and listen, reflect on the music of the consciousness, music of the awakening. Releasing the tension that has impacted your body before. And I love that sensitizing and the uplift to come onto the solar plexus. Ask on the inquiry whether there's anything that you don't want to hear or block, releasing, neighbor, aspect of your life that is needed change. Bolader, really listening and thoughtfully Arms very gently raise back into the crown, cleanse the space and the aura, home and the family, and every other. That shared respect for this beauty all around you, beyond the habits, beyond the patterns, beyond the small worries to see. Glorious bounty of wonder that is awakening in every cell of your body. Seeing the same beauty on everyone else, everything, gently coming out of that. Comes onto the namaskar, precision of this growth, the goodness that you discover within yourself. Namaste. 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 So, mm -hmm. we are so happy after, I think two weeks we haven't been, so we, uh, we have a lot going on here and uh, a lot of uh, community importance have come. Someone decided to have an engagement in their house without cleaning the backyard. So we have to go and help uh, one Saturday for that. Already went well. Um, not that I was part of it. I was just the part of a, a, a cleaner. Um, but I made the house looks wonderful for the engagement. 
And um, when also we had a little shit done in the back and other things. Um, I said, the time comes uh, and awakens you. Um, it's always my love to you all. I miss you all on those days, but your energy was there, you know, because it was more on um, And we need to work on this. And then it happens the computer decided today to throw a tantrum on me. And it's good. I was very restless. And then I saw myself, oh my God, I'm going to teach yoga being restless. And I just took a deep breath. I Contact Sylvia and I said, Do you see the others? Can you let them others know? Because my computer um, was frozen. And uh, I have those moments. And that's great. Um, great to have you guys back. Love to Sylvia. Love to Dada's family, Rebecca, and my beautiful soul. And that. And Maria, you haven't seen Sage. Oh, sorry. Marie, Matt, Liz, and Dr. Michelle, great to see you. Uh, she deserves a great holiday, so please do enjoy all the work that she does to the community and do. And love to Pamela. I love big hugs to you guys. So it was a deep healing, just gently take gentle steps today. Namaste. Love you all.